sa re sa 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 re sa 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 re sa 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 ra har re har 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 re har 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 re har 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 ra sa re sa 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 we are very happy to have our very very special satkirinkar um who we are so happy to have with us and because we love so much her music um Sadkirin, uh, studied with the citizen sahib for five decades and he he taught her to study gurbani kirtan and sent her to study at a very young, young age and she has made nothing less than 22 albums that we so much love and she is the creator of the nad academy so we love so much her and we love so much her music and we are so happy to have in uh, you with us uh, Sat- uh, so we are very happy uh, to hear from you now and we welcome you satnam satnam Hello everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome all of you everywhere. Time is irrelevant. We're just here together in the zone of the vast known and unknown. I'm Sat Karen Karkalsa. I'm so thrilled we are together in gratitude for this whole beautiful, beautiful sharing. So we will begin by tuning in, place your palms together at the heart center. Begin breathing long and deep through your nose. We're tuning in with Ad Gurinama. To God, good in that one, okay? Inhale deeply. Exhale. Inhale to begin. God, good in To God, good in Satu Gure Nama, Siri Guru Deve Nama, Ad Gure Nama, Jugad Gure Nama, Satu Gure Nama, Siri Guru Deve Nama, Ad Gure Nama, Jugad Gure Nama, Sat Gure Nama, Siri Guru Deve Nama. Inhale, hold. Listen to your voice without speaking. Exhale, relax. Feel the presence of your light. Today we will be using our voice through the sacred sound current of the nod of the Shabbat Guru. And in keeping with our process, Let's do a short meditation. It's a pranayam. No voice needed. We'll be breathing. The mudra is heart center. Inhaling, holding the breath. We'll be playing a track, eight wahi gurus. As you hold the breath, you'll hear wahi eight times then you will exhale 
but you will hold the breath out for the same rhythmic recitation that you are hearing of eight Wahigurus. So this is the practice of listening to get us into that very, very different channel of expansiveness to go deeper. You're already somewhat there. So we'll be inhaling, holding eight Wahe Gurus. Then we'll exhale, hold the breath out for eight Wahe Gurus. And we'll just continue. Inhale, hold. Exhale, hold out. And focus right here at the third eye, right there. Okay. So we will begin now. Hands in prayer pose. Chut and save. Thank you for starting the music. Breathe. Oh, inhale. Hold. Exhale and hold out. and hold and
Inhale, hold the breath. Continue to hear the mantra being sound, sounded. Exhale, relax the breath. Continue to hear the sound of the mantra. Hold this space. And in your mind, begin to envision the fulfillment of your purpose right here, right now. Envision all the fulfillment that you long for. And just allow it to come to you. Open your eyes. Welcome all of you to our monthly chant and chat group club meeting. So happy you could all make it. One of the basic tools that we have to work with is our voice. 
And so many of us have this mental tape that keeps speaking and yakking and blabbing, saying, oh, I can't sing. I sound terrible. Why am I doing this? Nobody's going to want to hear me. So, but we have been gifted a voice. And our voice is a direct connection to every single part of our being, our physical, our mental, our emotional, and most important, our meditation. One of the challenges that we have as meditators is this thing called param, doubt. It's a roadblock. <laughs> Everybody has to deal with self doubt. We're going to just plow right through right now. We're going to be using the syllable with our voice. We're going to tune our voice. So nobody can hear you. You'll hear me. But you will hear yourself. We're going to start with a very simple sound of ong. This is not with the lips together, it's in the nose. Ong. Okay? We don't want to chant om. Om removes us from the physical plane and takes everything away. We live in this world. The ong. Um, will expand our mastery of this world through that infinite sound. Um, so we will be chanting this sound for a couple minutes and we'll go into a couple different sounds, vowels to strengthen our voice, to get into that beautiful space of feeling good with your voice. One note, you may breathe through your mouth, okay? We want the breath. That breath supports our voice. If we're just breathing through the nose, we might run short and then our sound will crack and Cracking voices are okay, but let's start and warm up this beautiful, beautiful gift of voice. Um, Keep it continuous, continue. breath strong. Oh. We need a strong breath 
to make a good sound. Oh. Oh. No time to be shy. Let it crackle, let it break. But continue. Oh. Last time. Switch to E. E. This may be more difficult, but go for it. E. Our voice has many different angles of entry and delivery. So all these syllables, we touch them, we work them, we perfect them. Next one is ooh, ooh, ooh. Next one is A. Just imagine that your perfect sound is perfectly connecting to all the 10 regions of your life. A. If you get into that space where your mind is saying, ooh, I don't like what I hear, just breathe for a moment and just go into, thank you, thank you, thank you for this voice, good or bad. Thank you. and most difficult one is ah deep breath Oh. Uh... 
Inhale and continue to hear your sound perfected. Listen to your perfect voice, your perfect sound. Thank you. Thank you. Hold on to this space. Maybe when you were young, you had somebody who said, shh, keep quiet. You're singing off key. Or maybe they said, yeah, she can hold a tune. Not great, but she can hold a tune. Or maybe... You had a brother who said, shut up, you have nothing to say. (laughs) The beautiful part of this realm is the power of how the voice articulates the sounds of our Shabbat. The Shabbat, the words, will totally obliterate the ego. That's that negative or supremely positive voice. And you will transcend it through these words because we will be working with the cave of the mouth, which is the cave of wisdom. And each word that we are speaking in this prayer will calibrate and experience and tune our experience and tune our projection to open up this beautiful area called the 10th gate. The 10th gate is also called the crown chakra. We crown ourselves by holding the space with a turban, if you use it. If you're not using a turban during the rest of this class, would you please cover your head, at least the top part? The crown chakra is the space where the sound current will be made into components of what we call sound patterns. These sound patterns will resonate in the highest centers of our physiology, pineal, pituitary, and hypothalamus. And it will build this whole space of perception of grace, illumination, and open up the wisdom, our connection, so that the finite self becomes connected with the infinite. And that infinite wisdom comes to in your perceptual field. So you will be guided, you will be filled with Wisdom, happiness, light. This is a journey. Let's see. So pronunciation is important because we are calibrating. These words are little um, formulas to open up this space of this intuitive awareness. Every human being has this capacity. Very few human beings get to practice or understand how to transcend the limitations of their human experience to experience a very vast, uplifted space of grace.
the great wise gurus and teachers were able to speak words that go beyond our language, our just simple communication into the language with what? Our soul. The language of the soul is what we will be using. We have a couple class members here. I see Padam Bhakti is here from Cologne, Satnam. So, yeah, welcome. So I'd like to introduce you all to Madam Bhakti, who will be representing all of you. <laughs> she will be your group voice. Sadam Beerus. There she is. Say hello to everybody. Very grateful to be here. Thank you. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. So Somewhere around the uh, 16, 1700s, we had this whole movement that came in India where um, people transcended the limitations of religion. The religious structures that were in place were very confining. They were very top down. And um, we moved into a space where the experience of the oneness of creation was codified through the word. So I guess I'll wait a minute. Today's Shabbat is, as I was taught, is for protection. Protection, however you can visualize your need, your circumstance, illumination, and fulfillment. These are basic, basic results of your meditation on the sound current of the Shabbat. So everybody say, this is, um, okay, we're going to put one of you, um, Padam Bhakti, everybody say, Shabbat. Shabbat. Okay, so when we go through this class now, um, your microphones are all turned off. You can hear yourself, but uh, your group voice will be reflected in Padam Bhakti or Sadhan Birkar's repetition. Okay, so when they speak, you should be speaking too. Okay, Are there any questions? So let's put our um, words up on the screen. Thank you, Chad and Save. Okay, so um, this particular Shabbat, I know you've been introduced to the, the scripture, the city Guru Granth Sahib. This one was spoken. These are spoken words from the son of Guru Ramdas. The son of Guru Ramdas, his name was Arjun Mal. He was chosen to be the successor of Guru Ramdas because he was so absolutely devoted, very wise and very devotional. And of course, he had a great wife who supported <laughs> One thing I want to point out is that these words are, they're not just magic things that came through these individuals one day because they sat down and had a fantastic meditation. These words came through because there was challenge, there was pressure in each one of their, their lives, Guru Ramdas, tremendous pressure. He was an orphan. And his son, Arjun Mal, he had an older brother who was constantly harassing Arjun Mal. 
And he even, the older brother was so jealous that his younger brother, Arjun Mal, became Guru, that he even tried to kill Arjun Mal's son, who was a baby, small baby, poisoned him. He sent a wet nurse, put the, <laughs> anyway. Um, so there was great, great challenge. The life is like life today, life then. Oppression, challenge, battles, both internal, external, because this is the Kali Yuga, the dark age. And this is the human gift to transcend through the darkness and to use the pressure of the time to get motivated to this practice, singing, meditating, focusing, practicing, teaching, and sitting together with others like we're sitting today. Maybe you're standing, but I'm sitting too. So, um, so here we are. You can see just um, Padam Bhakti, could you read the title in English slowly? And then the first paragraph of the English. Just a moment, I'll be right back. Ap Sahai Hoa, chanting this Shabbat. One's enemies shall melt like ice cream under the heat of the sun. Here and hereafter, the Lord is my protector. The divine true guru is merciful to the humble. Sudden beer, could you do the next paragraph, please? The Lord himself protects his servants. Each okay, slow other. down. So say the sentence and then pause, please, for translation. Thank you. The Lord himself protects his servants. In each and every heart, this beautiful sound current resounds. Okay, thank you. Param Bhakti, next paragraph. Can you see it okay? Day and night, with every breath, I remember him. Okay, I didn't hear your first sentence. It says, unto the Guru's lotus feet. Unto the Guru's lotus feet. I am a sacrifice. Day and night, with every breath, I remember him. Who is pervading everywhere? Okay, good. Thank you. So this is starting here and hereafter. The Lord is my protector. This is an acknowledgement. There is no time in the realm of the infinite. Time is irrelevant. It's happening. Past, present, future is all happening. But what is consistent is Sat Nam. Sat is the true infinite identifies our existence. And Das, the Lord, protects his servants. 
So let's um, be those servants by just, just entering this space and saying, okay, I'm gonna invest myself in this practice. And by doing this, I will get the result of my practice. Even if you're if you think you're a terrible student and you pronounce terribly and and you're frantic and whatever, or maybe you're so proud. Why do I need this? You remember when you were young and life was just filled with all possibilities. But here we get to acknowledge and balance our travel, our thinking, and position ourselves for mastery to get the fulfillment. So, um, I'd like to go over this pronunciation with you now. Everybody, we have to practice and know how to move the tongue and the mouth, right? This is a lovely time when we can actually hear the different sounds and start working it in our own practice. So we're going to over, what do you call it? Over pronounce. We're going to move our mouth and move the tongue. Uh, everybody's move your mouth and tongue. Okay. Okay. Now, when we recite, please do not speak. Don't speak ate te rakavala, brother sati gurudin de Allah. The power of the singing voice is what we're going to put into place. Okay. All we're doing is using one note, no melody needed, just one note, simple. So please repeat after me. Ate, no, at, sorry. Ate, ote. Okay. Um, sudden beer, you be my, you be the group's voice. Okay, we'll start again. Ate, ote. Ate, ote. Rakhavala, Rakhavala, Prabhu, Prabhu, Satgude, Satgude, Din, Din, Deala, Deala. Beautiful. Okay, let's do it again. Ate, ote. Ate, ote. Rakhavala. Rakhavala. Prabh Satgura. Prabh Satgura. Din, Din, De Allah, De Allah. Beautiful, thank you. Padam Bhakti. So here we're saying everywhere, we're making this affirmation, we are proclaiming with this frequency of sound patterns what we are speaking. 
the true guru is merciful to all of us or to those who are working this channel, surrendering in gratitude. Das, das, up in me, up in me, up, up, rake, rake. Make sure you're not saying rake. Rake has no, um, there's no pattern in the mouth. We're using our tongue. Ra, ra. Ra, ra. You're doing fine. I'm just demonstrating for everybody just to make sure that um, your tongue is touching the bridge and the front teeth. Ra, ra. The bridge right behind the top front teeth. Rake. Rake. Now, Garte, Garte. Garte, Garte. Okay, this T sound is on what we call the roof of the dome. It's a palate inside your mouth. Just take your tongue and go into the top, the roof of the dome that is the upper palate and say, Ta, 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 ta. Ta, 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 ta. So there's no air coming through, right? It's not ta, ta, ta. Put your hand in front of your mouth. Ta, ta. If there's air coming through, no good. So ta. just tense. Yes. <laughs> So we're going to tense the tongue so we can say da, da. Everybody practice that a little bit, Padamakti. Da, da. Da, 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 da. Gata, gata. Gata, gata. Shabad. Shabad. Subake. Subake. I'm making the vowels longer to make sure that we are completing that sound. Okay. Sudden beer. Read the English for this next paragraph, please. Unto the Guru's lotus feet, I am a sacrifice. Day and night, with every breath, I remember him who is pervading everywhere. Thank you. Guru is proclaiming. We've been given this great, beautiful awareness or pathway. The Guru's feet are that space where we bow. That space where we bow is where we receive the wisdom or the strength. And we're affirming. Maybe you're not thinking every day, every second, guru, guru, why guru, guru, ram das, guru. But with this meditation, we are proclaiming day and night, every breath, I am remembering the Creator. Why? Because she, he, it, the infinite, totally pervades everywhere in all spaces.
The beautiful thing about the words of the Guru's Shabbat, you don't even need to understand what you're saying. Because by reciting the language with your tongue, by listening deeply in meditation, you get a transformative experience. Just keep going. He, she is totally pervading everywhere. Okay. Sadin Birkar, you're our group voice. Gurike. Gurike. Charan. Charan. Okay, this N sound, uh, in English we say N by the tongue touches the teeth. But this, in this language, we have four N sounds, maybe like Mandarin or Cantonese, so many more sounds. So this N is up on the roof of the dome of that palate in our mouth. Charan. Charan. Upada. Upada. Bala. Bala. Jai. Jai. Dinasa. Dinasa. Good. Next word is all dental. Ran. Ran. Sasa. 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 Samali. Samali. Puran. Puran. Sabani. Sabani. Tai. 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 So this T has air. Tai. Hi. Beautiful. Okay, next part, this couplet. Okay, we have, okay, there's two things going on here. One is we have this Shabbat to meditate. The next thing we have is two sentences that can be just those two sentences be a month. Everybody say, mantra. Sadim Birilan Mantra 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 and the Mantra is and Mantra is Ap Ap Sahai Great. So just these two lines, you can use it as the mantra for what we are doing here, which is for protection, for melting one's enemies, for getting through that court case, for just standing up to all the oppression that may exist in your life. Apisahaihoa. Apisahaihoa. Sacheda Sacheda Sachadoa Sachadoa If you're using this as a mantra, then you would say 
हर 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 ग्रेट परमबाटी ग्रुप बॉयज आप सहाय हो आप सहाय हो 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 सच्चे दा सच्चा डोआ सच्चे दा सच्चा डोआ हर 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 beautiful so if you're working with the kundalini yoga class and you're teaching this as a mantra that's all you have aap sahai ho sache da sacha doa had 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 sadan birkar every everybody say that aap sahai ho sache da sacha beautiful and Padambhati what does this mean can you see it okay the Lord himself has become my refuge and protector true is the support of the true lord beautiful so here we're just saying and affirming who's the helper and protector well maybe you rely on an attorney or some good friend but hey you can go to the infinite and get something much greater than all your expectations which is god himself herself god has no gender but that infinite one has become my helper i look to that one for support true is the support of that true lord and we affirm it by saying had 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 next line okay sadam beer teri bhagat teri bhagat vadde aai vadde aai pai nanak pai nanak prab saranai prab Okay. okay, beautiful. So now after we affirm this, who we're talking to, how, you know, what's our space? What's our range? Infinite. All possibilities are there. And we can close this with affirming glorious, great is devotional worship to the infinite one. Nanak has found this sanctuary of the infinite one. Who's Nanak? Nanak is the channel we're using. Nanak is that human being. So we are just like Nanak. We found this channel. and we're using it are there any questions we'd like to do this recitation as a meditation
So we're going to recite this together. First, we'll recite it as I speak, then you speak. And after we do that, we'll just speak all, we'll speak all together, but we're not speaking. Remember, we're constantly singing. One note is fine. It's the power of the, me the melodious voice that prints. It imprints in our mind so that it can repeat itself without speaking. And then we can hear it come to us automatically. That's why we're using our one note melody, okay? Okay. Param Bhakti Ate o te rakavala Ate o te rakavala Prabhasat gurdin de Allah Prabhasat gurdin de Allah Tase apne apra ke Tase apne apra ke Gat gat shabd subha ke Gat gat shabd subha ke Guri ke chadan Upar bal jai Ke charan upar bal jai Din saran saas saas samali Din saran saas saas samali Puran Sabani Thai Puran Sabani Thai Sache da Sacha doa Sacha doa Teri Pagat Vadiai Teri Pagat Vadiai Ay nanik prab saranai Ay nanik prab saranai Said in Birkar, you lead the group Athe Othe Rakavala I don't hear you. I'm not muted. Ate o te Ate o te rakavala. Prabh sat gure din de Allah. Thank you. 
नास अपने अपराखे अपराखे गठ गट शब्द सुबाखे गठ गट शब्द सुबाखे गुर के चरण ऊपर बल जाई गुर के चरण ऊपर बल जाई दिन सरन सास सास समाली दिन सरन सास सास समाली पूर्ण सबनी थाई पूर्ण सबनी थाई आप सहाय हो आप सहाय हो सच्चे दास सच्चा डोआ सच्चे दास सच्चा डोआ तेरी भगत वड़ियाई पाई नानक प्रभ शरण नाई पाई नानक प्रभ शरण नाई ऑल टुगेदर नाउ आथे ओथे रखवाला प्रभ सत गुर दीन दयाला दास अपने आप रखे गट गट शब्द सुबाखे गुर के चरण ऊपर पल जाई दिन सन सास सास समाली पूरन सबनी थाई आप सहाय हो सचे दास सचा डोआ तेरी भगत वड़ियाई पाई नानक प्रभ शरणाई आते होते रखवाला प्रभ सत गुर दीन दयाला दास अपने अप रखे गट गट शब्द सुबा के गुरु के चरण ऊपर बल जाई दिन सरन सास सास सुमाली पूरन सबनी थाई आप सहाय हो सचे दास सचा डोआ तेरी भगत वड़ियाई प 
पाई नानक प्रभ सरनाई हते ओथे रखवाला प्रभ सत गुर दीन दयाला दास अपने अप रखे काट काट शब्द सुबह के कुर के चरण ऊपर बल जाए दिन सरन सास सास समाली पूरन सबनी ताई आप सहाय हुआ सच्चे डा सच्चा दुआ तेरी बगत वड़ियाँ पाई नानक प्रभ सरनाई Continue without speaking Hear through the infinite ear Take a drink of water. Open your mouth really wide. Oh. Stretch your tongue out like you're going to yawn. Ah. And continue to listen to our meditative voice of this shabd. Replay it in your mind without speaking. Chat and save. Do you, if you have the music, could you put it on? No. Yes, of course. Thank you. Okay, hold on to your meditative space so we can share.
Thank you, thank you. So if anybody would like to share at this time um, their experience of this, just to carry it through uh, to complete our class, I'd love to hear Padam Bhakti. <laughs> she always has something to say. Um, I'm participating now in the Chant and Chat Club for I think it's one and a half year. And I, I always love it. And the way we get into the Shabbat and not only the mantra, but the context and this really profound experience is lovely. And I'm every time so grateful and feel very much uplifted. So thank you, Satkirin, like always. Every Chant and Club is a really wonderful experience. Maybe we could translate that now. <laughs> it's being translated. Ah, so can... okay, great. So we don't need that space. Anyway, thank you. <laughs> thank you, everybody, for joining us today. It's, um, it's a wonderful privilege, and I'm very grateful to the staff at Students of Yogi Bhajan uh, for putting on this e-solstice and making this beautiful technology of consciousness, awareness, and kundalini yoga and Shabbat Guru, something for all of us throughout the planet to really savor, to practice, and to share. So we will close with our longtime sunshine song. May the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround you, and the pure light within you guide your way on. May the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround you, and the pure light within you guide your way on. Guide your way on. Guide your way on. Sat.
Nam Sa Light of all lights, O truth of all truths, O one within everyone, we thank you for this time, this space. We thank you for this breath, this life, and this company to ever resonate your word, to live in your grace, and to fulfill our humanity of being one within everyone, Satnam. Okay, thank you so much, Satkirin, for that wonderful class. It was a real privilege to have you with us. And on behalf of all our team and everyone that has assisted your class, we thank you so much for being with us. It was really beautiful. Thank you so much. Okay, Satnam. Satnam. Sa 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 s